The Wellness Hour. An in-depth discussion with today's top physicians and medical leaders. And now, your host, Randy Alvarez. You're watching The Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, the health benefits of resveratrol. With us, we have an expert on the topic. He is the founder and owner of one of the most prestigious wineries in Oregon, Tory Moore Winery. And uh, w with us, we have Dr. Olson. Dr. Olson, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, uh, very interesting. We're talking about resveratrol today. And uh, we've talked on the phone. And I, and I told you, I, I'm now excited about Pinot Noir. After uh, after that discussion, but how do you look, medical doctor, uh, you know, trained uh, neurosurgeon? How did you get in the wine business? Well, to get into the wine business, obviously, you got to love the wine business, and you don't know that this is what you really are involved with until you get a little bit of it. And uh, I got lucky, and, and I came from the Midwest and went to uh, California, came to California, and spent time in Napa and realized that, that this was something I really loved. And, uh, okay. Uh, and all evolving after that, uh, uh, more and more took courses at, through the Davis correspondence things. And, uh, and then eventually I, I got even more lucky and won a fellowship to go to France, uh, lived over there in France and, uh, and, and chased around looking at different vineyards and wineries. and You're big on the health benefits. I am. I think it's really important. You, you really think it's healthy? I do. A couple I, glasses of wine a day. I really do. Can make a difference in your health? I think it can, can extend your life. And, really? And I think, too, that it also has the ability, without question in my mind, that it to uh, lower the incidence of, of uh, heart disease. And I, and I come from a family that, that had uh, uh, an issue with heart disease, and I personally have had a, a, a triple bypass heart surgery that uh, I'm lucky enough to survive every day. I'm lucky to be alive. Uh, but the issue of, of does it lower low density lipoproteins is the French paradox. That's really? cholesterol we're talking about. That's right, yeah. And does it really, is the French paradox real? I think it is. So this, this, this French paradox, what is that? What does that mean? Well, it, it started with a guy named Serge Renault who was a, a fellow in France who was looking at why is it the people in France seem to live longer than people elsewhere. And, uh, uh, and of course, one of the issues that was brought up was, could it be wine? And, uh, and the more they looked, the more they found. And, uh, and, and lo and behold, uh, it seems to correlate exactly. And then the people from the 60 Minutes program, as you recall, put it on and, and, and it changed how wine. I mean, resveratrol is yeah. hot right now. Well, you know, I read the health magazines, and 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 they're everybody's talking about. It. So pills, they're, but you say wine. You believe that getting it from your wine is probably better absorbed in the body. Well, is that right? It, it, I do. And again, there's some studies that have been done that show that when you put wine in your mouth as a liquid, it's absorbed through the mucous membrane in your mouth, whereas a pill, you swallow it and you actually get, I think, 35 percent more in, uh, absorption from the mouth than you would from a pill, and so. Therefore, it, to me, I, I have to believe that, uh, that the, the way how it's delivered as a liquid, as wine, is even better. I, you know, I love wine, so why, why wouldn't I believe that? You say it brings out the flavor in food. Of course, and, and it makes the experience a, a true experience. I mean, is it, is it an imaginary, it tastes better? Is there something with the pH? I mean, what, what was it bringing out well, flavors? Uh, clearly. Like where you add salt to something and it brings out of, the flavor? Of, of course, and there's the right foods and wrong foods. and. Uh, uh, you know, I don't think I'd, I'd have curried food with, with, with Pinot Noir. I don't think that would work. Good. It's like steak, chicken, yeah. what? What, what uh, goes with Pinot? Well, lamb is wonderful. Uh, 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 salmon is wonderful. Uh, turkey, we're coming up with Thanksgiving. There's nothing better than turkey with, with Pinot Noir. Interesting. Okay. Now, now, we should mention, if you're just tuning in, we're talking to the owner of Tory Moore Winery, one of, uh, you know, in Willamette, in Oregon, uh, one of the premier wineries there, known for their Pinot Noir. But today's topic, we're talking about the health benefits of resveratrol. And I thought, and when I heard about this, that there's a medical doctor, a brain surgeon, uh, uh, a neurosurgeon that knows about wine, knows the connection. I thought this is going to be a great topic to bring you on the show. But for those people that don't know about Tory more. Let's briefly talk about that. And I have a lot of questions about resveratrol sure. because you say it can have an impact on Alzheimer's, lowering cholesterol, right. more energy, more cellular right. energy, all of those things. Big, Absolutely. bold statements. Sure. So, uh, Tori Moore, and, and, and this is the bottle. Is this, this is one of your best. This is, this is, is that right? This is one of our best. This is okay. a wine that we sell a lot of around the, or actually around the world. Uh, we're in 38 states and four countries. And, uh, 
Uh, How many and, acres do you have well, total? Well, I, I own personally own about uh, twenty plus, but the uh, I, I lease out another eighty, so as we control about a hundred acres. You live there? I do. Right there. Uh, Pretty relaxing, no stress. It, it, it is a, a beautiful, idyllic place to be. I, on my front deck, I look out and I see Mount Hood, which snow-covered mountain all year round. I see Mount Jefferson, uh, a snow-covered mountain all year round. And, and I can look down the Willamette Valley uh, for 50 miles. And it's it's pretty unreal. You know, the, the movie, preparing for this interview, I saw Sideways again. Okay, yeah. everybody's seen that Sideways. Right. And they were talking about Merlot and Cabernet, and the guy got outraged about Merlot. But in your mind, is Pinot Noir that much better, that much superior, complex, or whatever the lingo is, uh, I, than I, other wines? I think you hit the money right there. I think there's no question in my mind. But, of course, again, I'm biased. But I, I started historically through different wines at different times of my life and learning as I went along. But I've come to the point now where I pretty much exclusively drink Pinot Noir. And, uh, uh, and, and Highest the, levels of resveratrol in yeah, Pinot Noir. That's true. Is that a fact? That's true. It has a bigger molecular structure even, uh, bigger than Cabernet, for example. And, uh, uh, and it, it is uh, certainly, it, it, there's ways how the, the, you can kind of make the concentration of resveratrol higher actually by, by the way how it's farmed, a certain... Uh, farming techniques, uh, one of which is, is where you, you have more yeast in the soil and more things of that. Uh, so the yeast is in the soil? Yeast is yeast in is the soil. Yeast is a fungus. Yeast is a fungus. Is right? Okay. And, uh, and it's part, it, and yeast is really an amazing organism because they have uh, uh, an energy, mit mitochondrial activity, just like, like a human cell has mitochondria. Uh, so it had, creates its own energy system. And, and they, these things pass up into the grape plant and then it can develop into a, a kind of a, like the factory that makes the system work. Okay, now, you know, this is a big topic, but the French, uh, you know, do they make better wine than, uh, I mean, can, can, can Oregon compete with, can California compete with? I have. Uh, and, okay. Uh, uh, and we've poured side to side uh, in, in, in Paris, and, and, and we've, we've been very well. I mean, Robert Parker. Uh, Gives, I mean, Robert Parker, wine spectator, we should mention, medical doctor, uh, owns uh, Tory Moore Winery. And we're talking about the health benefits of resveratrol today. But your wines also, 90, 90 plus points in wine spectator, Robert Parker. Uh, I, I, start, uh, I started the winery in 1993, and, and one of my wines has done 90 plus every year since. And, uh, is that right? Uh, and it is... We've dedicated ourselves to quality wine. And Who's your winemaker? His name is Jacques Tardet, and uh, he comes from a family of winemakers in France, in, in the Burgundy area, uh, in Neuilly St. George. Uh, his father uh, was a, a premier winemaker in Neuilly St. George. His brother still is. Uh, and uh, But he, uh, be, uh, being the, the brother who, who was not the one destined to get the winery, uh, was uh, they came to America, of course, uh, he had a, an American girlfriend that changed his life a little bit too. So, okay, uh, why is Willamette uh, uh, known for their Pinot Noir? And, and why, I mean, why is it better than any other place? It's the ground. If it is. It's the, the ground. ground. Okay, it, better. It, ground. It's the it's the terroir of the earth. What it's is terroir? Terroir is a French word that, that means that stuff that's in the ground that makes the the the, the wine uh, uh, grow. When I lived in France. Uh, I, I went around everywhere and asked the question, why, why does this wine taste different than this other wine, when maybe the vineyards were maybe 30 feet apart? And, and the answer was always the same, terroir. And, uh, and so, terroir, the ground, uh, and, and the earth. What, it's the earth, and that's why I created the name uh, Tori Moore. Yeah, what is that? Uh, Tori is a, a Japanese gate, like you'd see in a Shinto shrine, and uh, uh, the two bars across the top. And, uh, and Moore is Celtic, means the earth. And, it's my way of saying terroir, gate to the earth, and uh, uh, and, and it is uh, uh, an expression. Uh, wine is a living substance, and so to get wine and get it in the glass, and for us to be able to consume it, it is a gift. And so it's healthy, though. It's healthy, even though I may see a report that says alcohol is just the worst. Well, the issue there, in my opinion, is you've got to be careful on the alcohol, and, and uh, I believe in lower alcohol wines. And I. I think if you have alcohol of you know, 15 percent and things like that, I think you destroy the character and finesse of the wine. And uh, so some of these big over-extracted wines, uh, like some, some of the Syrahs can be, and uh, 
they have high alcohols. I don't agree with that. And okay, so the Pinot Noir grape, I mean, because I was trying to understand, but the, the crush, I mean, in your wine, for example, right. has to do with the, I mean, I mean, how do you get the resveratrol contents high? And also, have you ever compared, I'll put you on the spot, have you ever compared your uh, Pinot to maybe another brand's Pinot, and do you have a higher resveratrol content, and, and why? And, and the answer is yes, we have. And, and it seems to be, uh, the, the, the standard answer is the more struggling the grape is, the better and higher the, the, the uh, resveratrol is, which in effect, I think of resveratrol in the grape itself as kind of the grape's penicillin. It's, 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 it's really? the grape's way of fighting off all these diseases that are, you know, grapes have problems just like people do. They have viruses and all sorts of other things. Uh, and, and so grapes live to be a long time and, uh, and to be able to survive these events that take place, these little insults, uh, are, are they develop. So you want the grape to struggle? I want it to struggle. I Your grapes to, struggle over at Torrey Moore. We, I, okay. My vines are down 20 or 30 feet and uh, uh, into the earth. And, and the earth is special where I am. It's, it's basalic rock broken down. 10,000 years ago, volcanic activity came across Oregon. And, and uh, it all pulverized to this red earth and, and this this red earth is really what is special that makes Pinot Noir grow so well. Tell, tell me this, and we're talking about the health benefits of uh, resveratrol with us. We have the owner of uh, Torrey Moore Winery. People know him, Robert Parker, um, Wine Spectator, 90, every year for the last how many years? 90 plus points. It, I started the winery in 1993, and okay. uh, we've done it every year. So we're talking about, and, and there's a lot of health benefits you say in a glass uh, of wine. We'll get to that, but, uh, you know, uh, neurosurgeon, you guys are known as overachievers. Right? I mean, you're the overachievers. It, what, Are you like that with wine? I with your it, winery? It, it's a rumor. Are you uh, like that with winery? I'm a perfectionist. Uh, uh, it's tough to, to do neurosurgery and, and screw it up. And uh, uh, and if you you got to be meticulous, you got to be fussy. And, and I'm that way. I'm a control freak. I have to admit it. So with your winery as uh, well? I am. And, and I, don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. And, okay. Okay. Uh, Let's go over some of the things the the health benefits of resveratrol in wine. Okay, what are some of the things, some of the science, what is it good for? Well, it, it, of course, we mentioned the issue regarding the you know, cardiac uh, uh, issues where we can lower the cholesterol, that, that's the standard thing. And, and in addition, it, it lowers the uh, uh, clumping that occurs. We, we, we now pretty much know that the heart disease, that what causes heart attacks, is more from a result of inflammation than it is from actual. So this reduces inflammation? It, it does reduce Like it, an anti-inflammatory. Like an anti-inflammatory. And, uh, and there's actually uh, something called cyclooxidase inhibitors, big word. But it's yeah, what is that? But it's the same stuff that's in all of these arthritis medicines, uh, uh, like Celebrex. Celebrex. And, uh, that's in wine. That stuff's in wine. That stuff's in wine. And uh, aspirin is a cyclooxidase inhibitor. That stuff's in wine. wine. Okay, you're a brain guy. And, and, and for people just tuning in, again, we're here with the owner of Torrey Moore Winery, uh, known uh, th probably throughout the world for your Pinot Noirs in, in Willamette in Oregon, 90-plus uh, Robert Parker, wine spectator. But uh, you're uh, also a medical doctor. Alzheimer's. There's some, there's some talk on the Internet about that this may impact, this resveratrol. What are your thoughts? I, I mean, this is an antioxidant. I mean, what do, you, what do you classify it as? No question that it has an effect. The, and, and, and mice and roundworms and things like that, you can make them live longer. And the question of that sticky stuff that causes Alzheimer's, you can, we believe that you can reduce that. And you're a brain surgeon. You believe having a couple I, glasses of wine may delay it, offset it, prevent I, it? You know, if, bold you statements. Know, I'm going to try everything I can, but it's, it's, it, it, I believe it works. Okay. This other, and, and I can't pronounce it, ergo, uh, ergothionine. Right. Is that correct? What is that? And that's in the wine. You it's, got resveratrol. It's, in the wine. it's also, it's another agent like resveratrol, which is very special. And, and it, it's in the human body as well. And the question is, how does it apply? Uh, I believe it's another one of these agents that works as an antioxidant, as a free radical scavenger. It's another tool, and it's got a different chemical formula than resveratrol. Uh, it's got uh, five sides rather than six with the benzene ring, but, but that's just chemistry. And uh, the issue is, where do they all fit? There's a lot of good stuff in there, and it, it's good for you, and it tastes great. I tried to push you uh, when we were talking on the phone. I said, well, what about three or four glasses? You said, no, two. Two's best. Because this isn't about drinking alcohol, no. this is about resveratrol. This is, 
too spit. You know, I, you can do anything to excess, and uh, and I don't think that's good. But I do think. But the way you drink it, uh, it's going to take a long time to drink two uh, glasses of wine. You're swa- well, there's five you're swishing cup, it around. Five glasses in a, in a, in a bottle. Uh, that means that if you have a bottle and you share it with somebody who you really like, uh, and as one of our labels, I actually have two glasses on the front, and I call it the French two two verre, two glasses. Uh, and that being said, is uh, it's to be shared. It's a pleasure, and and it's the right amount. Uh, one bottle of wine with meals, two people, it's perfect. And this is a big topic, and 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 you know, but wine has been used in medicine, the ancient medical doctors, you say, and and we have to go to a break, but uh, for you know, five thousand B.C. You say even before. Uh, that there's good, strong data that, that it goes back to at least eight to 10,000 years B.C. Uh, and I personally have seen petrified wine that was carbon dated 6,000 years B.C. So wine is a medicine they in the were, future? They were using it as a medicine in the past. Uh, the people at Harvard are now saying it's a medicine of the future. Resveratrol. Resveratrol. Big on resveratrol. Uh, and uh, t- and, and Tory Moore Wine. You know, we should, uh, again, if you're tuning in, we're talking to the owner uh, of Tory Moore Winery. And uh, it's, uh, it's you know, 90 plus points from Robert Parker, Wine Spectator. I mean, you're a serious winery. We're serious. Are you open to the public as well for tastings? Oh, yeah. We, we have a, a tasting room that, is, as I said, sits right on the, on the vineyard and looks at all these uh, at the mountains and the beautiful spots, and and uh, uh, it, it's kind of on a circuit, so as you, you know you're not the only one you're going to visit. How do you get your wine now? Oh, as I said, we're we have a large internet sales. We have a a, a great wine club that we we would uh, encourage lots of people to participate. But quality in. is everything as far as resveratrol. You told me. I I mean, if resveratrol is an indicator of quality, if it's not a quality there. wine, uh, that means the more quality wine. Yeah. We'll have a the higher, higher levels of resveratrol. Could levels. you give me a brief explanation of why? Uh, well, because we have to go to a break. There it comes in that struggling, uh, stressed terroir concept, uh, and the issue of of these things. When they more they struggle, the higher these ergothionine and, and resveratrol, the higher they go. It's of interest when you see a, a, a disease a grapevine with phylloxera, which is an aphid. Uh, in the early years, it produces wonderful wine, and that's the reason, is because the, that it, it has this struggling quality and the stress it ups these uh, ingredients that, that I think make for a marker for quality. Okay, now, you know, one, and we're going to do a wine tasting. We're going to take a quick break. You're going to show me how to enjoy my wine because I, I, to, I think I your hunch to, is that I'm not enjoying my wine. I tried to patent it. I didn't get away with that. Okay. Uh, um you know what I like? I should share this on the phone. I said, what, 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 what's your goal? You're accepting the interview. What's your goal? You said, I want people, I'm paraphrasing, but very little. You want people to fall in love with wine the way you, you have fallen in love with wine, and specifically your wine, you said also. But, but You know, I'm selfish. But uh, the issue of wine is uh, something that we can all enjoy. It's something that can bring us together as people, act like a civilization rather than a bunch of crazy people running around, and it's something that we can have an opportunity to actually talk to each other while we're enjoying that. And besides that, it's good for our health. It's going to make us live longer, I believe. It will also, uh, certainly we can prove, reduce heart disease to a degree, uh, and, and uh, strong evidence that... Increases cellular energy, you say? It re- increases cellular energy with the mitochondria. It, it, people believe that in, in, in the animal labs that it's definitely blocked cancer cells, changes how the... Cancer, de- resveratrol for cancer it, it prevention. Has, it has decreased uh, how the, the insult to DNA, it will protect it from, from various insults to the DNA. It protects the genes uh, from, be, from, from being hurt by constant variety by these free radicals and things. You know, the way you talk about wine, you say yeah. at the end of drink, it should be an experience. Yeah. And you should be talking about things yeah. you care about. <laughs> Elaborate on that, we have to go to the break. Wine, wine is an experience and you have to feel it. You have to have the passion. And, and, and when you have that passion, this, this exercise that we go through that, that creates this, this moment of enjoyment that you're gonna remember. Each step of that process is something that's in your brain uh, as, as an emotional uh, experience, which which enhances your food, enhances your your life. Uh, okay, resveratrol. resveratrol, high amounts in Tory Moore wine. Well, high amounts. Uh, uh, no, can well, you, it. No, can, is it is it, is it high enough to get the full value that you see in the laboratory? Probably not. 
uh, and probably we'll need to fortify it with something down the road. In the and future, maybe that's okay. coming next. Is that right? Okay, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to do a wine tasting. You're going to show me how to enjoy wine. It, okay? There's nothing I'd rather. Resveratrol. So, okay. Uh, so. uh, we'll be right back. Uh, you're watching the Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, hot topic, we have the owner of Tory Moore Winery, uh, probably Willamette Valley's hottest winery for Pinot Noir, known throughout the world. And uh, up next, from the owner, Tory Moore Winery, he's going to show us how to enjoy wine, how to get the most of the resveratrol from your wine. We'll be right back. The Renaud Society is an international society of medical professionals with an interest in better health and a passion for wine. As medical professionals, they know that wine enhances health and specifically reduces the risk of heart disease. The Renaud Testabon Wine Competition is held annually in conjunction with the Wine Summit. This past fall, Tory Moore's 2008 Duver Reserve Pinot Noir won a gold medal with their Olson Estate Vineyard Pinot Noir, winning a silver. Hi, I'm Randy Alvarez. You're watching the Wellness Hour. We're back from break. Great conversation here. Uh, today's topic, the health benefits of resveratrol. And according to my guest here, he's the owner of Tory Moore Winery uh, in Willamette. Uh, in fact, people from all over the country know this winery for its great Pinot. And he's going to show us how to get the most uh, resveratrol out of our wine. <clears throat> well, Clear, Tell me about that. Clear, clearly, what we got to do, first of all, is I've poured for you a glass of wine. Okay, what are we drinking? And we're two? drinking, this is our flagship uh, uh, label here, which is a blend of Pinot Noir okay. coming from 17 different vineyards, actually. Oh. I've poured in your glass there, and, 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 and as we enjoy wine, we, right. we always want to get rid of the excess oxygenation. So it's the, the, from it, the bottle. From the bottle, okay. that's right. So, it's so a, you, you know, sometimes around. a bottle, when you first pour it, it gets a little, little tight, and then... And, 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 and so those those extra fumes, you want to get rid of those. And uh, uh, with Pinot Noir, you can do it quite nicely in the glass. Get the get the aromas to come forward, and then bring it up to your nose, and and get your nose in there, so that you can really get a, get get the the smell of what. Now what, what am I smelling? What, Pinot what, Noir. What am I looking for? The, these are the aromatics that are coming off. This is the bouquet, and uh, and and Pinot is is unique, and, and you get this kind of cherry smell out of it, and. Right. and uh, uh, and, and the elements of complexity are based upon the complexity of the wine. Obviously, this is the bottom level or the most basic one, and as the other one, it will have more complexity than this does. And so, and then we bring it into the mouth, and, and okay. swishing it around a little bit. And what I what I've done there, I, I like to kind of chew it. I bring it forward, and uh, so I bring it forward in my mouth. So I can get those taste buds in the front of my mouth to be activated to get that cherry, that blackberry uh, uh, taste that's actually there. And of course, I let it go around my mouth a, 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 for a period of time because, uh, I, we mentioned earlier, clearly there's a better absorption of, of the of the resveratrol through the membranes in our mouth than where, there. Where, where, where about though? On the cheeks? You, you it, said it, it's inside the mouth. The mucous membranes in the in the mouth. So we'll, swirl it around so you get we'll, the resveratrol we'll, in we'll there. We'll get we'll get okay. the absorption for the resveratrol. Veritol, and some people say it's as high as 35% higher. And you do it that way than you would, for example, if you just put a pill in your mouth. Okay, for the sake of time, and and uh, we're gonna go with this next Pinot. This is your reserve. Yeah, it is. Let me try. Let, let, why don't you try some of this? Uh, okay. Reserve here. Let's pour a little bit. Let, let me get the. Is this in here. some of the high-end restaurants? Yeah, it is. And you'll find a lot of this in the in the big casinos in Las Vegas and things. And uh, but this this is a very nice wine. So this is the good stuff. Yep. Yeah, this is the stuff you, when you, you you look at it and you put your nose into it and you bring it to your mouth. This is the kind of stuff that you want to really back away from the everyday activities of life. You're going to spend all your time focusing on this wonderful stuff that's in so the glass. So when you smell it first, yeah. do you think it enhances the flavor it, when you put it in your mouth? Always smell it first? It, it, it's like foreplay. It's uh, like foreplay. Okay. Uh, okay. It, it is it, it's something you bring together. Interesting. You had it in your mouth uh, a little longer. Uh, so uh, and, resveratrol is absorbing. Yeah. You and, and, and in my mouth, uh, you know, I, I've got this blackberry cherry up front. I've got this beautiful finish in my mouth that I can, uh, it's still there. Uh, and, uh, and and it kind of it, it announces to the rest of me that there's something here that's really special. Uh, and that stuff, I believe, is 
these things called resveratrol and these other uh, uh, flavonoids that, that are in red wine. You have a wine club? We do. We'll, we'll give a little plug. Right? We're we talking do. about resveratrol, but, but they can join the wine club. Oh, sure. Uh, we have a wine club, and you can find us on the web, torimarwinery.com. Uh, and uh, you can see uh, what we do and all the things. We have a little Japanese garden there that is a beautiful place that's very tranquil and, and, and a place that I believe is is important part of, of life. And uh, uh, and we have uh, as well uh, our winery there so people can come and visit and see the entire process. It, you know, life's a process. Uh, okay. Uh, and, and so is wine. And wine's alive. And and, uh, and we need to slow down to, to get together with the process so as that we can look to tomorrow with some enjoyment rather than having to just face another day that kind of beats up on you. So uh, uh, I would like to, to suggest if there's a final word, uh, that you, wine is for pleasure. Uh, and, and, wine is for pleasure. And it needs to be shared. And it also tastes good. And, and, it's, and it's good for you. And it's good for you. You so, think it's healthy? I think it's healthy. I think it's food. Anti-aging? It's anti-aging. Good for the skin? Good for the skin. And, uh, and there's science uh, behind this. Stuff. And there's science behind this. And and, okay. and the science is good science. And, uh, All right. And it, a lot more is happening, and, and it's really beginning quite exciting. I, I think, you know, there's going to be a whole lot of focus on this as we go forward uh, as, as medicine, quite frankly. Okay, good. Uh, well, so, I, I want to thank you for coming thank you, on the, thank you. On the program. Very uh, interesting. So, uh, uh, you've been watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. The health benefits of resveratrol. If you want to see this interview again, if you missed the first half of this, we really got into the health benefits of resveratrol. You can go to our website at wellnesshour.com, type in resveratrol, Dr. Olson, or Tori Moore Wines. For now, I wish you good help. Thanks. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues. 